All right, my friends, welcome. Let's start in the seated position. We're gonna bring the right leg in front of the left. And they're just, they're on the ground, right? So one is just in front of the other. They're not tucked under or resting on top. Just one right in front of the other. We're gonna start with some side opening. So right hand onto your inner thigh. And think about just leaning. So what this is doing is it's getting kind of through these lower obliques, but it's also getting your psoas that comes from the hip and up and over, and it's right inside of there. So if you've got a tight psoas, you often will feel this. We're really focusing on this area right here. It gets your QL in the back. You can gently press that inner thigh down. Your left hand can be on your leg. It can be on the ground, whatever feels good to you. Just really focusing right through here. I am so tight right there always. <laughs> it's like, oh, nice. And then from there, we'll let that stretch kind of spread up through the ribs by bringing the right arm up and then reaching it over. Now we get a little bit of a rounding. Nice, welcome everyone else coming in. Think about pressing down through your left outer thigh. Now we're getting that space from the hip bone all the way up to the shoulder and then through the fingers. And then adding just a little twist in here. So awareness from navel to sternum, just a gentle twist, kind of twisting navel to sternum towards your left knee. We're not trying to make anything pop, right? We're just taking all those little internal organs that we've opened up on the right side and giving them a little squeeze. And then we're getting a deep squeeze on the left organs. Taking our lymphatic system, it's just squeezing it. It's like pumping, squeezing the tube of the toothpaste to get it out and then open up. Ah, oh, come on up, everything gets to flow back through. All right, left hand on the left inner thigh, little lean to the right. So again, we're focusing right here in this lower, lower oblique area. Yes, this joined us, Mary and Jill, Lorraine, Chrissy, Molly, Jan, Karina, Abby, Allison, Rochelle is here, Jessica, Pascal, Pascali, am I saying that right? Um, Daniela, Melissa, Jamie, Tony, Casey, Tracy, Jen, Linda, Jessica, I missed you. I do apologize as you come in, everybody bounces all around my screen. And then we'll take that left arm up and over. Now we're spreading that stretch all the way up. Oh, gently push down through your left outer thigh. Welcome, Erin. Welcome, Tracy. Little more breaths here. And then awareness, navel to sternum. Gentle twist. Everything a nice little squeeze. And then opening. Oh, slowly come up and just gentle, just a little sway side to side. Uh, so from here, we'll take the legs long. So we've gotten some good side bending, some twisting. We'll come into that forward folding. So you can just start to walk your hands down towards your feet. They can rest on your shins, your calf. If you want to use a strap and place a strap around your feet, this is where you always can. If you can reach your feet. If you're super flexible and you want to try to lengthen that stretch and you've got a yoga block, you can always place the yoga block on the bottom of your feet. And then it's harder to reach out. So if you're, if you're pretty good at reaching the bottom of your feet and you're like, how can I stretch myself a little deeper? Bring a yoga block. And if you're really flexible, you can take two yoga blocks, right? And that'll help. You take that stretch deeper. But remember, it's not about trying to like win any stretching awards. It's about finding that place where it feels pretty good. And you're like, oh, it just feels good. I want to just stay here. 
And in this class, we stay here for about a minute. If you want even longer, deeper stretches, yin. Six nights a week, three times with me, three times with Lindsay. So lots and lots of, lots of opportunities. In fact, tonight is a yin and um, yin plus night with Lindsay. We get that bonus meditation, mind, uh, guided, guided rest. And then we'll slowly work our way up. Bring the bottoms of the feet together out wide from the body. This gives us some length down the outer thigh, the IT band. Hands rest on the shins. Lift the heart and then lean forward. So try not to round. We will come to the round in a moment, but keep the heart up as you lean. You start to get a little, just a little pull down that IT band. You might not lean very far. So we create the length, we create the space. Else has joined us. Welcome Sherry, welcome Val. And then as you kind of keep lengthening, you softly let the upper body round. And feel that ease through the back. And then maybe here you do a little nodding, yes, no, with the head, a little releasing of the neck. Couple more breaths. And we'll slowly come up. Come over to hands and knees for some cat cows. So just a couple of light, easy cat cows. You're just moving the spine gently. Flexing and extending. And then round up through your cat and start to press back towards your heels. You can walk your fingers forward, child's pose. If you like puppy better, keeping the tailbone in the air or even pressing back off a wall, a table, a low bench. I sometimes like to use my little bench here to press back off of. Again, if your head, if you lift your head up off the ground slightly, you can get a little movement in your neck. You can get a little swaying side to side through your torso. Couple more breaths. And then from here, we'll come up onto our forearms. So where we'll start to slide our knees away from each other. So my knees are gonna slide away. I can come onto my hands or my forearms. Let your knees slide away. You start to kind of feel that stretch in the groin area and the inner thigh. And then I just want to gently try to press my tailbone back towards my heels till I feel that stretch just right. Now, some people like to take their feet apart into full frog, and you can absolutely do that. I tend to keep my feet together and just work kind of the push back a little more, but it's whatever works for you. It's whatever your flexibility is. And it just right among the stretch in the inner thigh. So some of you were in yin last night. If you were not, I did record it. We're doing the chakras over the next now six Mondays. 
Um, we didn't do this pose in Yen last night, I don't think, <laughs> so long ago, but this is also really good for our root chakra. So it's stretching all the tissue, the musculature around our root, which lays at the base of our spine. And so by kind of stretching the area, right? Limbering up the area, the blood supply is able to flow in and out. Our chakras are kind of our energy flow. It's also gonna be able to flow better if we're not closed off and tightened up. And then from here, we'll just gently work our way forward, bring your legs out long behind you, coming onto your belly. I'll turn a little bit at an angle so you can kind of see. We'll take the right arm out to the side, left hand under the left shoulder, left leg is just gonna reach behind as we get the stretch through the front of our chest. And you can stay right here. You could reach the left arm behind you. You can even take the left hand and grab onto the left ankle or the foot bringing this more into a heel to glute stretch as well. If you don't like the shoulder action going on, you can take this right arm instead of having it tucked behind you. You can bring it under your ear and you can work just the quad stretch. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do with this stretch. If you're doing it all, it's basically like a camel laying on your side. So really opens the entire front of the body. Try to let your neck just be a neutral so that the head is not touching the ground. When we do this in yin and we stay there a long time, you can always place a pillow under the head for support, but you may be totally okay with the amount of time we're here. Nice. And then if you're connected, if you're holding your foot, first let go of the foot. And then the left arm comes in front. Just allow yourself to roll onto the belly. Oh, just pause here for a breath. Right? Let a little bit of neutralness happen. And then we'll extend the left arm out long. Right arm comes in and right leg reaches behind. And then you have all of those same options. You can reach the right arm back there. You can connect. You could not roll over the left arm and just get the quad stretch. If you're breathing, if you notice like a big change in your breathing, Sometimes it's a sign you're trying to push yourself too far. You should be able to breathe easily, gently. And then we'll release if we're bound. Right arm, right leg. Pause here for just a breath in that neutral. And then take your time coming up and over to your back. We have about 45 seconds left. So just coming into a nice neutral. Oh, you can hug your knees into your chest. If you wanted to take happy baby, if you wanted to go back to child's pose. Just something that feels pretty good. Take a moment here, notice your breath. Allow the eyes to relax, the jaw to release. Relaxing down through your root. Release the pelvic floor muscles. No kegels here. And as we 
end our time together as always. If you've got a few extra minutes in your day, five minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes, uh, what a perfect time to just lie in Shavasana or sit quietly, just notice your thoughts. Thank you all for joining me, friends. I'll see you again soon.